Hey guys, this is Tom Porter and I'm making this video about how to use your Ledger Nano S to store Stellar Lumens. Something that's interesting about this hardware wallet, um, there's a lot out there that are on the market and I really do like the Ledger wallets. There's some things I don't like about them, but what's interesting about them is that they don't work like regular other wallets work or the other wallets that I've used. You actually have to know specifically what to do for each currency that you store on here because it's different for every currency. So Bitcoin works a little bit different than if you were to store Ethereum on here. And Ethereum works a little bit different than if you were to store Ripple. Um, there's some things specifically to know about Ripple. Um, and today we're talking about Stellar Lumens and there's actually some specific things that you need to do to store your Stellar Lumens on here. So I'm gonna go through what I know about the Ledger uh, S Nano and um, yeah, just see if that's helpful for you. So the first thing you need to know is that in order to get um, Stellar Lumens onto your uh, onto your Nano, you would need to go to uh, Ledger Wallet and you need to download the Chrome extension um, for managing the stuff on your Ledger in the first place. And you can come here to ledgerwallet.com. Make sure that you, it's always a good practice to make sure that your HTTPS, that's the secure site, and that you're on the proper site because that's that's a lot of the way people are getting hacked right now is they're actually going to websites that look like the website they should be at, but they're different websites and people are putting in their information about their accounts that they have and uh, they're, they're getting their coins stolen that way. So just always make sure that you're on the right website and that it's the secure HTTPS. My dog's growling for some reason. Okay, so um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come here and you're gonna install this Chrome extension and I've already done that, so I'm not gonna bore you with that. So I'm gonna come over here to my apps in Chrome, and this only works with Chrome. This is the only way that I know that it actually works. You actually have to have the Chrome browser installed on your computer. Uh, probably works on a Chromebook, really not sure. I'm gonna to come to the Ledger Manager, and it's gonna say begin. To begin, connect your Ledger wallet. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm in the menu right now, the main menu, and I've put in my pin. Now, it took just a second to go through, and um, now it's loading up all of the available styles of currency that I can uh, put on this device. Interesting thing to know about the, the Ledger S is that you can, I'm sorry, the Nano, is that you can only put up to five cryptocurrencies on it. So I know they're selling it like you can utilize it to have all of these you know, different cryptocurrencies, which you actually can, but at one time you can only have up to five on the device itself and so i would recommend that if you have over five cryptocurrencies um, of the ones that are supported by the nano that you maybe think about getting two nanos or you might actually think about getting um, a different style of wallet they, they offer some more expensive ones so just so you know that because what will happen is if you try to put all of the currencies on here that uh, are available <clears throat> you'll basically get a message that says you don't have enough space, you need to uh, remove one before you add another one. So you just gotta know that up front and it's, it's handy to know before you buy. All right, so what I've already done is I have loaded on here Stellar Lumens. So what I did was I just, I opened this manager within Chrome and I connected my uh, Nano and then I came down to Stellar and I just clicked this button right here. Now when I, when I click this, obviously the Stellar is all application is already installed on my Nano, so it's gonna tell me that it's already installed. Okay, since I don't really care about installing it, because I already have it installed, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this. And it says, unable to install application. That's, that's fine, because I already have it uh, going. Okay, let's say, hypothetically, you have gone and you bought some maybe Ethereum or some, uh, some Bitcoin on Coinbase, and then you move that over to an exchange and you used that to buy some Stellar right, to buy some XLM, some Stellar Lumens. Um, what are you gonna do with those Stellar Lumens now? Now, I am a, a completely buy and hold person. I am not a trader of any capacity. Um, I really believe that cryptos have a huge future ahead of them, so my long-term strategy is to buy a cryptocurrency that I like and hold it for the long term. So, I, don't, I can't really speak towards you know, trading or anything, but what I can show you is how to move that Stellar that you've bought on an exchange to your permanent uh, location that you want to store it. And that for me, that's my uh, Nano S. So here's what you would do. 
you would uh, go to stellar.org and you could click on wallets and this is kind of the rest of that the web address here I'm making sure that it's HTTPS right and I'm making sure that I'm on stellar.org because I don't want to be uh, hacked for any of my information even though it's a little bit difficult to do that it's asking you here choose your lumen wallet so I can see right there I have a ledger wallet and you use with account viewer and it's going to give me this screen right here now something to understand about stellar is that when you are buying stellar and you're moving them off an exchange you're not necessarily moving the stellar to your to your ledger nano s what you're actually doing is your your ledger nano s is storing your secret key um, and your secret key is what talks to the stellar network and says hey this account with this secret key has this many lumens in it so really what you're doing is you're storing your secret key and you're using your ledger nano to access um, that secret key and talk to the stellar network and talk to them about it basically it shows you your account on the stellar network is what it does and it does that by using your your uh, ledger nano so a lot of people get that confused they think well, if I buy this and I, and I move my Stellar to the Nano, then it's on the Nano. It's, it's actually not on the Nano. It's actually, um, it's an account on the Stellar network that has over 20 lumens. And your Ledger Nano S really simply just holds the secret key for that account. But okay, so just knowing that, we're going to use um, this screen right here to sign in. So I'm here and it says sign in with Ledger, but it's grayed out right now, right? So what I want to do is on my Ledger Nano, I'm going to come over to Stellar and I'm going to get into Stellar. And right there, uh, you saw that it lit up. And a lot of people have a question about this use default account. You can just leave that checked. And um, if, you, if you didn't want to use the default account and you wanted to do some a little more advanced stuff, you could actually uncheck that box. But if you're brand new to this, definitely leave use default account checked because that's what you want to be doing. Okay, so I'm going to sign in with my Nano. And you can see here, it's all it's doing is it's saying, hey, all right, I see your secret key, and now we're looking at your account, and your account has almost 600 lumens in it, not that much. Um, and this right here is your public key. Your public key is the address to which you would send more lumens to, right? It's, it's almost like your street address in the real world. Um, it's the, the thing that everybody can see that if they want to send you some lumens, they can send it to you. And then here's where um, I would send lumens to somebody else, right? If I had somebody else's public key, I could send them some of my 599.39 lumens if I wanted to. And then I could add a memo to that and all I would simply do is just click lumens, uh, send lumens, and it would go off and do its thing. So that's really it. What you're doing is you're using the ledger uh, Nano S to store your secret key on which in turn talks to the Stellar network and displays the information about how many Stellar Lumens you have in your account um, in your secret key account on the Stellar network and then it displays your public key right here so how did I actually do that how did I get these 599 lumen into my account well what I did was I simply just copied this address right here and I went over to the exchange, and for me, that's Binance. I use Binance for almost all of my, um, if, I, if I can, if they offer what I want. So all I did earlier today was to move that 599 lumens into my Stellar Lumen account um, via, with my secret key stored on my Nano S. How I ended up doing that was I just came to Binance, which is my exchange of choice. Um, I really do like Binance. And I came to deposits and withdrawals. Then all I did was I came to withdraw, right? I go down to Stellar Lumens, go to withdraw. And then this is where I pasted this address. This is my, my Stellar address, right? This is where I want the money to go to. This is where I paste that address into my account in order to uh, send it to there. And then I just clicked no memo. Memo is only like if you're sending money to an institution and they need a certain memo on it to do a certain thing with that money, um, then they're going to require some sort of memo from you. You can put a memo on it if you want, but it's really not required for moving your own money. Um, so I'm just going to paste that address that I have from here. Control copy, 
come down here, paste it, no memo, and the amount, and I clicked max. And it says the field is required, obviously, because I don't have any lumens in there. I just transferred them all out. And then I would just hit submit. And then you would just wait. You'd simply wait here, and um, you could sign out and sign back in, and, and then you'll eventually see your lumens come through once a certain amount of confirmations have happened on the Stellar network. That's it. That's how you um, store your Stellar lumens using this. All right, so one more thing that I want to say is that in order to make this work, there is one setting that you do have to set on your um, Nano, and that is that you need to make sure that browser support is enabled under your Stellar application. You would scroll to Stellar, you would click both of these, and then it says use wallet to view accounts. So this is actually, um, this means that I'm using the wallet that's on my computer to actually view um, the account, which we just showed you how to do that. And then you would click this button, which brings you to settings, and you're going to use both buttons to get into settings. Browser support, both buttons again, and you're going to make sure that yes is highlighted and both buttons again, yes and then back, and that's all. So that's it. I know it's kind of, you know, it's, it's a little bit confusing. Honestly, these nanos are, they're not as intuitive as I thought they would be. You really do have to know some specific things about each cryptocurrency to be able to successfully store and send each one of them securely um, from the nano. But we're gonna go through every one of them that I know how to do, and we're gonna get you guys dialed in on your nano. So, hope this was helpful.